Hello, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we got to talk about some interesting news. So, apparently, the PlayStation Beta for the new software on the PlayStation 5 is going to include the SSD expansion bay. But there's a whole lot of freaking hoops and everything to jump through with this thing. I mean, it's 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 downright confusing. So, um I know I jumped in the gun a while back and I bought the the 980 Pro, the uh, Samsung, and then I got a heat sink for it. Um, the heat sink after it's on the SSD will fit my PlayStation 5. Um, so good news, at least this 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 hard drive will work. But they did say that there might be um, some issues when playing games and stuff. You know, depending on which SSD you buy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And then, like, the, the only one confirmed model is the um, um, the SSD from Seagate, the Fire Cuda, which is, like, almost 300 bucks for one terabyte. You're looking at $1,000 for four terabytes. And I'll tell you what, I see a lot of people... See a lot of people on Twitter being like, "Oh man, you're crazy. Nobody's going to spend $1,000 on, on, on four terabytes. You won't even need that much space. Well, on my Xbox Series X and Xbox One, I have an 8 terabyte hard drive just for all the games that I have on the uh, Xbox One. I have the 1 terabyte that's in my Xbox Series S, which is 820 gigabytes, and then I have another additional SSD that I bought for my Xbox Series X. So, I already have 8, 9, 10, 10 terabytes of space on my Xbox Series X and I only have about three terabytes of space free right now and I don't even have all my games downloaded I have like 330 something games on my Xbox Series X and I don't even have all of them downloaded on my PlayStation 5 um, I don't know I think I got maybe six games downloaded right now and I'm, I'm completely out of space so basically um, I don't know exactly when or if they've already started sending out the uh, emails for it I have I have volunteered my PlayStation 5 to be a guinea pig for this this update, um, but I have yet to hear back from PlayStation at the moment if they are going to accept me into it or not. Um, the way these things probably go, they'll probably send a, they'll, they'll probably let everybody who does not have an SSD to actively put in their PlayStation 5. Those are probably the ones that are going to get called for the uh, for this expansion update. Um, hopefully, the beta is not too long, though. Maybe, possibly, you know, mid next month, you know, or or um, you know, next month sometime, we should be able to start. Um, they should start rolling this update out to everybody. Um, I'm hoping that it's the first of August. You know, like pretty close to the first of August, and not the end. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Everything that was uh, coming out. And, well, I mean, there's Ghost of Tsushima, the update for that. I would really like to have this update before that comes out because I don't want to have to delete anything that I already have on my PlayStation 5 to put this game on there. Um, yeah, this is kind of irritating, to say the least. I would think that, uh, I would think that, you know, they would have, you know, some... They would have put out a list or something already. Like I don't know. I, I feel like PlayStation... Dude, this generation for PlayStation has been unlike any other PlayStation um, launch in, in my memory. Like, I am so frustrated, like, daily with my PlayStation 5 experience. I just cannot... I just cannot get over how ridiculous this launch has been. I mean... Like, I don't know. I mean, they haven't really put out any freaking games that I want to play. You know, I mean, what did we get? Spider-Man Miles Morales, that was pretty good. You know, it was about a five-hour experience. Um, Demon Souls was amazing. Those are the only two freaking launch games that I had any interest in whatsoever. Returnal comes out. It says it sold 560,000 copies of this game since April. In my book, that's kind of a flop. I mean, that, that, that's kind of a flop. You know, it didn't even crack a million. That That's kind of a flop. Ratchet & Clank is sitting over 
at just over 1 million. So about 10% of all the PlayStation 5 owners have bought in that game, and about 5% have bought in Returnal. I, 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 I don't know, guys. I mean, everything's getting delayed, pushed back. Um... I, I I don't know, man. My I'm I'm really frustrated with this PlayStation experience as it sits right now. Um, honestly, guys, if you're still on the fence about buying a PlayStation Five, you should possibly maybe hold off just a while longer. Wait till wait till there's more stuff that's coming out. I mean, yeah, I I don't know what to say. This is really frustrating, irritating. I'm irritated today that i haven't gotten you know an email from playstation saying that i can that i can do this upgrade that that really frustrates me and it's probably my fault i probably shot myself in the foot by not being on my playstation and playing every single day but there's nothing on there for me to freaking play right now okay it, it, it's irritating all the games that i do want to play i've deleted to, to put other it, it's a frustrating this is such a joke you know the the um the the, the, the stuff that you have to do to jump through with this with these hoops, I mean, it looks like the Seagate Fire Cuda um, is is the one is the only one that's confirmed or they've confirmed that they're pretty good about doing that. Um, it it just there's just there's just so much stuff. Like look at this, you know, um, M2 SATA SDDs are not supported um both single-sided and double-sided m2 ssds devices are supported it says you should carefully review drive specifications prior to purchase and contact the vendor or manufacturer if you if you need further information sie cannot guarantee that all m2 ssds devices meeting the described specifications will work with your console and assumes no responsibility for the selection performance or use of third-party uh products not all games are necessarily uh not all games are necessarily playable with the exact same performance provided by the playstation 5 consoles internal um ultra high speed ssd even where the m2 ssd device devices sequential Read speed is faster than 5,500 megabytes. Um, the majority of the M2 SSD devices with the above type numbers, key, key, uh, M key type two, uh, 2230, 2242, 2260, 2280, and 22110, and uh, without a built-in cooling structure will fit the ps5 consoles ssd slot however sizes for cooling structures like heat sinks vary greatly if you are not sure an m2 or cooling structure such as a heat sink you're considering meets the size requirement outlined here we recommend looking for another product option or contacting the vendor or manufacturer like it just this sounds freaking irritating i mean the heat sink that i bought um, will will fit on that it is the um, the ek dash m.2 nvme heat sink i found it on amazon um, it's the perfect dimensions once it's on the ssd it will definitely fit i did buy the 980 pro from samsung the one terabyte model with 7000 megabyte read speed um, as far as i know this this drive will work um, i just it it obviously it says you might not get the same performance so playstation did this to themselves they created this issue that um clearly doesn't necessarily have to be that way but i mean at, in, at the end of the day i mean who cares man you pay another 500 dollars, you get zero zero loading on a playstation 5 you know that's the next gen feature that playstation brought to the table so that's what you get man you get one hell of a freaking upgrade cost to upgrade your storage or you can just spend all your time saving games deleting games um transferring games to an older slower hard drive yeah that's that's about the playstation experience man it's just it's getting so freaking convoluted and stupid that i, I don't know man I, I i don't know i bought this ssd the samsung i'm just gonna use that when i run out of space i i don't know man um 
I might consider getting that Fire Cuda, the four terabyte model. That's a thousand dollars, but I mean, at this point, I just with everything being pushed back and nothing really exciting for me to be excited about on PlayStation 5, I just I just don't know if I want to invest $1500 on a PlayStation console just to, to just to be able to save my games, guys. Like this this is ridiculous, man. The the the, the cheapest option for 1 terabyte on that is 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 $275 because anything smaller than a terabyte is pointless. Like seriously, it's freaking pointless. This console's been out for 8 months and and we our our consoles are already full, man. Like we're 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 already stretching up against the limit. So one terabyte, me like buying this one terabyte, even that is insufficient for this generation. I mean, like, do you seriously want to buy games and delete them just to like? I don't. I like to be able to have all my stuff downloaded, or most of the stuff downloaded that I'm gonna play, so that when I'm feeling like you know, like I want to play something, I can just jump on there and play it. But this right here, guys, I I don't know, man. Literally a thousand dollars for four terabytes one thousand dollars you paid five hundred dollars for your playstation 5 and now you need to pay for this generation for this generation i i think four terabytes for for a heavy gamer you know somebody that buys a lot of games that that should be sufficient for the most part um just the average gamer you're probably going to need you know maybe one two maybe maybe a two terabyte card and a two terabyte was like 500 bucks man <clears throat> 500 dollars for a two terabyte card that that to me just is is, is kind of that's that's a whole nother PlayStation Five, just so you, that you could save your games and be able to do that. So I mean, that's probably where I might go with this is just do the two terabyte card. And I mean, because I'm only going to be doing like the the PlayStation exclusives, so I might just do two ter. I, I, yeah, I don't know, man. A thousand dollars for a memory card to to because I've I've got. I've got a four terabyte on my on my PlayStation Four with all my PlayStation Four games on there that I, that I like to have on there, and I still got a little bit of space. So maybe, I mean, like I don't know. These uh these uh smaller load sizes haven't really been panning out too well in either. So I mean, you figure four terabytes if you've got three Call of Duty games on there, that's almost a whole terabyte just with three of them, dude. And if you got a seven year span with seven call of duty games and they're all 200 freaking plus gigabytes, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, yeah. So take that how you want it. Um, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.